My name is Paul Fletcher. I'm a periodontist and a member of Specialized Dentistry of New York. I'd like to discuss the importance of decontaminating the undersurface of an implant restoration as well as a screw access opening. Bacteria and debris accumulate on the underside of an implant restoration and can also be deposited on it when it's been removed and being handled in a dental office. Additionally, it's been shown that bacteria migrate in and out of the implant abutment junction, whether the connection is an external hex, an internal hex, or a moist taper. Since the implant abutment junction is usually near the crest of bone, this bacteria can lead to the characteristic pocketing and inflammation of mucositis, which can subsequently lead to periimplantitis. To minimize this possibility, anytime you remove the restoration from the implant, you should detoxify its underside as well as the head of the internal connection to the implant and the screw access opening. This is done by firmly burnishing these surfaces with a cotton pellet soaked in hydrogen peroxide. Peroxide destroys the organic component to the bacterial biofilm, while the burnishing action removes the endotoxin of the bacterial cell walls as well as any inorganic material present. This should be done whenever the provisional is removed during the fabrication of the definitive restoration, as well as just prior to the insertion of the final restoration. It should also be done when your initial therapy for peri-implant disease hasn't resolved the bleeding upon probing around an implant with mucositis. My 15-minute Seattle Study Club practice inspiration goes through this entire protocol in even greater detail.